I'm Mrs. C. Welcome to Math to Find. Today I'm going to show you how to multiply a pair of fractions. So let's get started. When you're trying to multiply a pair of fractions, there are three easy steps to follow. So I'm going to start with an example of one half times one third, and I'm going to show you all three steps. So step one is you're going to multiply the numerators straight across. So my numerators are one times one and one times one is equal to one. Step two is just as easy as step one. So step two is you're going to multiply the denominators. So my denominators are two and three. So I'm going to multiply two times three and that's going to give me six. My last step is to make sure that my answer is in simplest form, meaning I have to make sure that both my numerator and my denominator, they do not share any common factors other than one. And when I look at one sixth, I can see that that is true. One and six do not share any common factors other than one. So my final answer will be one sixth. And that is all there is to it. You just follow those three simple steps every single time and you will get the answers correct. So let's practice. I have four pairs of fractions here to practice with and I really encourage you to complete these on your own first. So by pausing the video and then coming back and seeing if you, if you are correct. So let's get started. We're going to start with three fourths times five six. And we're going to follow those same three easy steps. So step one was to multiply the numerators. Three times five is, yep, 15. Then we're going to multiply the denominators of four times six, and that's going to give me 24. And then I'm going to think, do 15 and 24 share any common factors? And they do, they both share a three, so that means that I'm going to divide each of them by three. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 24 divided by 3 is 8. So my final answer, or my simplified answer, to 3 fourths times 5 6 is 5 eighths. Okay, let's look at 2 fifths times 5 7 So again, we're going to follow those exact same three easy steps. Multiply the numerators. 2 times 5 gives me 10. Multiply the denominators, 5 times 7 is 35. Then I'm going to take a moment and see do 10 and 35 share any common factors. Hopefully you decided that yes, the answer was they did and they share a common factor of 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So my simplified answer to 2 fifths times 5 sevenths is going to be two sevenths. All right, now let's try three sevenths times two thirds. So again, I'm going to multiply those numerators. Two, three times two is six. Then I'm going to multiply the denominators. Seven times three is 21. I'm going to take a moment and decide whether six and 21 share any common factors. And they do. They share a factor of three. Then I'm going to divide. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So my final answer to 3 sevenths times 2 thirds will be 2 sevenths. And one more. So again, I'm going to multiply the numerators. 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to multiply the denominators. 9 times 4 is 36. Take a moment to decide whether 6 and 36 share any common factors, and they do. They share a 6, so then 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 36 divided by 6 is 6. So my simplified answer to 2 ninths times 3 fourths is 1 sixth. So again, when you're looking at a pair of fractions, you just follow those three easy steps, and you will get a correct answer every time. If you like this video, please help me out by subscribing to my channel Math to Find and clicking that like button at the bottom of the screen. And even more importantly, I would just love to hear any of your comments or questions that you might have for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.